Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Saturday night grab bag. Figured we'd pull out uh, a fairly aged classic. This is Cave Story. Well, this is Cave Story Plus, I guess. The kind of updated version for the modern age, but... Um, Cave Story's great. It's fucking great. It's got a good story. Uh -huh. um, very solid mechanistically and pretty a pretty quick play, I'd say. Uh, maybe an hour and a half, two hours if we're, if we're feeling good about it. Let's just go. Let's get in there things. Uh, definitely not easy, and I'm not really keen on doing a hard, so let's, let's do original. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll read the text and all that, and just have a good time tonight. Feeling a little bit low energy, so we're just gonna, just gonna play some fun shit and probably be done with it. So this dude, Kazuma, is stuck somewhere. He's trying to he's trying to contact his sister Sue, but he's not gonna be able to just yet. Now here's us. We're we're a little robot. We're a little robot with nothing to our name. We have no weapons. We can only jump right now. Um, but that will be fixed shortly. Get some more health too, since we started start out with what three? Okay, so now we're up to six. So we've already doubled our doubled our health. Now we finally have a weapon! Something to protect ourselves with and also attack with. And the gunsmith is asleep, so we're just gonna swipe the weapon. We're just gonna swipe the gun and, and, and be on our way. We need it. We need it. So what's kind of unique about the weapon system in this game is that you can power it up, power each weapon you get up to three levels, and you do that by collecting these little, little Dorito things that drop off of enemies. But then you also lose weapon power if you get hit, but only for the weapon you're currently carrying. It's a pretty neat way to do it. We're gonna take our time and power up our weapon, it just makes the game a lot easier. level two before we get through that door. Oh, okay. Now we probably want to take hit. Oh, never mind. I just grab level two. So now we'll be in the Mimiga village. It's a village full of rabbit-like creatures. Sure, if you're really super interested in the story, I'd recommend just grabbing the game yourself and playing through it because it's super fun. And that's not be me being sarcastic. That's actually true. We're just gonna quick speed through this kind of initial part just because there's not a whole lot going on. It's not too difficult. And since I already know what to do to advance the story, let's go ahead and do that. Just need to pick up a silver locket out of the lake here. And since we're a robot, but we still need to breathe. We can drown. <laughs> we can drown if we don't uh, get out of the water quickly enough. And it is an instant death if we do. So right now we're trying to get a, a key to one of the houses in the village here, this one in particular. And we know that this uh, Toroko girl who's run away has that key. So we're gonna go get it from her. Or we're gonna try to get it from her, rather. Of course she thinks we're the bad guys, but we are not. It's like, oh no, no we're not. <laughs> we're, we're good. Well, we're at least neutral. Because we don't know, supposedly, what's going on. Now here comes the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah! <laughs> nah, this is Balrog. Big old toaster. 
and there's Misery. We'll be fighting her very, very late in the game. So Misery takes Toriko, and Balrog is going to be the one to fight us. We can actually skip this fight if we want to, but I actually kind of want to take it so we can get some more weapon power. Heck yeah, I'm going to fight you. This is a heck of a lot easier with level 2 weapon than we got out of the first area. Easy peasy. So, see you later, Balrog. We'll beat the shit out of you. And now we're a quarter of the way to level 3 on the pistol. And even though I don't strictly need it, I'm gonna grab the map. Even though I've played this game enough to know where to go. Ah, damn it. Or I don't even really need the map at all, but it's just kind of handy. Each area that we get into. So no problem. So Tarko's been kidnapped. We gotta go tell King. Or we'll go tell his second in command. Um, before we do that, I guess we'll go get some more help. in total, I suppose. We did take that dumb hit in the early area. So there we go. We told King second in command that Torko was kidnapped, so now we can go into the graveyard. Or the cemetery, rather. And since Torko is the only one that had the key to the house that we need to get into, we need to find a different key happens to be in here. And, well, look at that. Isn't that a nice door up there? That'll be important later on. Like, much later on. Like, almost end game. So we're just gonna ignore it for now, since we have no way to get up there. With our current equipment. There we go. So there's the key we were looking for. A quick pickup. dude in the very beginning of the game was uh, chatting to this computer. It's Kazuma. But we don't care about that right now. We're gonna go to the egg corner. Well, that should be, what, three or four, I guess, right? Three. Okay, so we're at twelve total. Be very careful not to touch that white thing on the bottom, because that is instant death, regardless of how much health we got. Now things start to get a little bit more interesting and dynamic. Alright, now we're at full power on our gun. Just to just kind of plow through everything without really caring too much. Hey, what's this? We don't know who this person is yet. Well, we do, but we're not told until later. So this other girl gets kidnapped. But that's Sue. <clears throat> that was Sue. They're talking to these green dudes, they're just really more for flavor text to flesh out the story. And four health, we're up to 15 total. Oh, that 
since we know where to go and what to do. Go into egg number six here and grab the ID card. It'll be useful in a couple minutes. Get our second weapon. Get a rocket launcher. Which each weapon has its own independent power level, so we need to power this one up now too. And this one does use a normal, typical ammo system, so we've got ten to start off with. And we're gonna see if we're on that. Easy, easy. Take down the barrier so we can move on. So it appears we have level 3 rockets before we go into the next fight here. Perfect. Alex, yeah, that big ass rabbit that uh, kidnapped Sue before. Hey, Strat the Modern, how you doing? Good to see you. So there we go. Defeated Igar, and oh, look at that. There's Sue. We saved Sue. Go us. Yes, I saved you. That's <laughs> none of my business. I, I shouldn't have saved her, though. real bad. Uh, where did I save? Ah, oh, man. Saved all the way back here. Oops. Well, that's okay. We just need to replay that section. I'm doing alright. Doing alright. Having a nice, uh, chill Saturday evening. Well, not really chill, I guess. It's, it's balls hot outside, but, you know. Chill in a certain sense. out there still. Yeah. Luckily we had a line of storms roll through so now it's uh, 
Ugh, excuse me, down to high 80s instead of mid 90s. So small steps. <laughs> small, small steps. Supposed to get down to maybe high 70s tonight. <laughs> Which is way warmer than it should be during the night, but hey. That's the weather for you. Alright, yeah. Let's Save. But I'm not, so we're not gonna. Really just need to get back to the beginning of this area and then we'll be good to go. It looks cooler than this week, only high 80s instead of over 100. Yep, same here. Same here, it's gonna be actually reasonably temperatured from here on out. Or at least as far ahead as they can reasonably forecast. Which is good, which is good. I mean, I like warm weather, but I don't like uh, sweating constantly, so if it could be not high 90s, low 100s, that would be real nice. So Sue returns, and King is blaming her for Torco getting kidnapped. Because he's a short side some bitch. I guess we'll save here. Printing parts for a giant D20 all day. You have one to eight and twenty printing, nine to twelve printing now. Nice. Like how how giant is giant? Like something that'll take two hands to roll? <laughs> Okay, so King is pissed at Sue, because Sue is an outsider, he's not from the village. But we're just gonna help Sue out a little bit. So Sue told us to go help her brother. So we're gonna go help her brother, because because we're good. We're nice. <laughs> so we're gonna help Santa here. Santa ran away, ran from some monsters, and he dropped this key to his house. So. Way to go, Santa. Way to be a, a big coward. So we're 
gonna do him a solid and get his keep going. turn he will give us a weapon. He'll give us the fireball, which is good for ground-based targets since it is affected by gravity. But since it is a new weapon, it also starts out at level one, so we gotta power this one up too. Double strength, and I can fire three instead of two. That's level three. <laughs> so full power. A matter of using use my rockets there, but it looks surely effective. Twenty-five times the size of a standard T20. Wow, that is pretty large. Yeah. It's a Chaco. We need to go through our fireplace to move on in this level. But we can't get through it since it's uh, full of fire. But we needed to do this in order to trigger the thing that lets us get through the fire later on. So off we go. Yes, I have played this before. <laughs> I have played this several times. Many, many times. That's why I'm doing shit out of order a little bit. So, in order to get through the fire, we need jellyfish juice, but we're gonna need, a. Uh, Another item later on that we get from Santa's house. We're gonna go grab that right quick. Since we need the jellyfish juice to get that item, and we can get some more on the way back. Out of order describes your inner tubes today. Oh no. What's wrong with your interwebs? Oops, I don't need to talk to Santa again. I just need to use this here. To get some charcoal. Our Lord 2019, we can't get stable inter interwebs. Huh? That is a damn shame. Alright, so before we move on, we're gonna grab more jellyfish juice, and then we're gonna come back a third time later on to get even more, so hooray. Fish juice, we can get through the fireplace and move on. I'm gonna take my time around that because I don't want to get knocked in 
the spikes. Because that would be instant game over again. Trigger the next story thing. We need to go talk to Kazuma. He's stuck in here. He's gonna give us a key. But it doesn't work for that door, so we go back a little bit. Door we skipped over. Hey, look at that. Opens this door. Turn on the power. This will turn on a bunch of fans in the level so we can get around without needing to go through uh, Chaco's fireplace again. And this robot's a little pissed at us. But it doesn't matter, because here comes Kool-Aid Man yet again! Oh yeah! And so, since Balrog didn't get enough of an ass kicking last time, we're gonna kick his ass again. So, see ya, Balrog. Thanks for trying. And then we're gonna help out this robot, because we're good people. So the robot is gonna help us make a bomb to blow up the rusted door. But in order to do that, we need charcoal. Hey, we've already got that. Jellyfish juice, we know where to get that. And gun base. I haven't yet gotten the gun base, but we know where to get the jellyfish juice, so let's go do that first. Oh, there we go. The fan's turned on, we can get back without using it on the fireplace again. get another weapon with this jellyfish juice if we cared, but honestly that weapon sucks, so we're not going to do it. shouldn't know where that is, but we'll just tell Cosmo. Be like, hey, hey, we're gonna blow the door open, and we need some gum base. He's gonna give us a key to another room. For that, we're gonna make a quick stop to the execution chamber. some more health. Another four or five, I want to say. Yeah, good. So now we're at 26 max, which is about half of the total we can get by the end of the game. Uh, you know what? We're gonna save here. Just in case I do a dumb and miss flub a jump or screw up this next boss fight. Um, I don't think there's no chance to try. It's, it's fine. You know what? That's actually pretty good. Use that in the next fight. So 
There we go. There's our gun base. Now we can go make that bomb. After fighting the Kool-Aid Man for a third time. Rip Balrog a third time. Hopefully, we won't have to fight him again. <laughs> but now we got the gun base, now we've got everything we need to make the bomb. So let's go do that. Go save Kazuma. Be a hero. Cutscene later and kapow. And we did it. We saved Kazuma. Go us. Yada yada yada, evil doctor, yada yada yada.
Sue and Kazuma and Professor Booster and figure out what the fuck we're gonna do about evil ass doctor. So now we know the doctor is going to use the Amiga, which is the rabbit creatures, to attack humans. So that's pretty twisted. So we're going to go stop. Apparently the red flowers we're all looking for is in sand zone. So we're gonna go to sand zone and hopefully get the red flowers before the doctor does. Or rather, I'm going to. I, as a, a super strong robot, I'm going to go to sand zone and get the red flowers. As long as Sandstone doesn't have poison frogs. Uh, well, thankfully, we just fought the frogs, and they were not poisoned. So we should be alright. But I guess we'll see. Unfortunately, this area also has my least favorite part of the game. Which is a fetch quest, or rather, more than one fetch quest. Four of them, to be precise. Or is it four or five? I don't know for now, but... It is probably a part of the game that we could do without. But, it also uh, lets us meet our my favorite character. It's Curly! She's, an, she's a robot, too. And she's defending these little, little, little rabbit kids. And she thinks we're gonna hurt them, but we're not going to. And we try to explain, but she's not listening. So we gotta fight Curly. So that's alright. It's a pretty... Pow, we win. <laughs> so now Curly's like, ah, fuck. I lost. I gotta dispose of the Mimi. Are you kidding me? Didn't you listen before, honey? God, Curly's so cute, though. As much as I like the machine gun, we're gonna hang on to our uh, original weapon, so we can trade that much later on for a much better one. Alright, we need to talk to people first before we can advance this. I feel good about myself <laughs> loading on all these little ones. Hey man, they attacked me first. I'm gonna call it self-defense. And they're, they're all fine anyways. Whatever. Kids are tough. They'll bounce back. Alright, so we gotta take this dog to a lady named Jenka. 
And that's just part one of a five-part fetch quest, so hooray. Here's Misery for the third time. <laughs> like, alright, I'm gonna fight you this time. Oh wait, no I'm not! <laughs> I'm a big coward. later on. Drinking much tonight so far, have you? Nope, I have not. I am on, in fact, my first drink of the night. Cheers. Is because drinking makes me warm, and it's already plenty warm out there without having to drink. <laughs> oh, ouch! It <laughs> shows it playing well. I mean, this isn't that tough of a game, honestly. I could be halfway to sloshed and still be okay at it. So here's Jenka. Here, have a dog. <laughs> and now we get more exposition, and here comes Kool-Aid Man for a fourth time. We learn Misery is Jenka's daughter, which doesn't really matter. And he's like, oh fuck, I don't want to mess with this robot guy, so he's out of there. So now here comes the fetch quest. Ugh. This is really just an excuse for more story. Which is fine, I mean the story itself is pretty reasonable, but... This whole going back and forth getting dogs is not the most fun thing in the world. Ugh. 
Let's start. We're gonna get the most distant doggo first, hopefully. There's the warehouse that we need the key to, which we won't get until after we get all these doggos. There's one of four. Thankfully, the rest won't take nearly as long. It's like getting that one out of the way. Exposition and story. about this unless we looked at the map, but we've played this many times in the past. Now this one's always kind of tricky to navigate. Yeah. There. We don't want to go 
go down there near the the skull and other assorted bones for obvious reasons. One more. I save the one closest to for last. Uh, four. Oh, I have another five boost. All right, so for thirty-six minutes. All that health will be very important in the end game, since I like to play aggressively. But there we go. All the fetch quest garbage is done. And hey, look, Kool Aid Man's back. He's got the key to the warehouse, so he's fucking right out. And then we gotta go follow him. One use only. But quite helpful. Now I gotta go back, all the way back to the warehouse where we found the first dog. Well, the second, I suppose. do all that again, because I didn't save in between. Goody. That's why I hate the fetch quests. <laughs> womp womp. consuming portion of it. Unfortunately, we can't take more than one dog at a time, so... Oops.
so this time we're gonna save right after we get the last one. So we don't have to deal with instant death spikes. All right, I f we forgot to grab an item when we fought Curly. I guess we're not gonna go back and get it. Oh, it's a useless item, one that doesn't really help us or hinder us, but it's one of those things that you grab for completion's sake. Make the smart play and save before we go out.
save one more time before we go in and do the next fight. There's Misery, and then there's our first glimpse of the Doctor. <clears throat> there's Toriko again. Giant ass sword, boom. Eat shit, Balrog. Oh, but it's too late. Torco already ate a red flower. And Rip King. Fighting Torco, which sucks because Torco's nice. This fight is still a bit painful. Especially when that happens, because ten, ten at a crack if you get hit by those blocks. <laughs> but that's exactly why we save right before. Torco's dead. <laughs> King is dead, essentially. But we get his sick ass sword. And now we're out of here, except Mr. Kool-Aid Man tackles us. <laughs> Now we're in the labyrinth. 
Probably one of my favorite areas. It's very interesting. Both design-wise and mechanistically. all the way down since you try to save yourself. Ends up being even worse. God damn it. Just like that. super awesome once you get to level 3. I don't think there's anything really we can get here. We could trade our Polar Star for something else at this point, but we're gonna hang on to it to near the end of the game. Plus, the Ghost of King comes in and just slices and dices everything. Super rad. And Curly again. She got moved to the Labyrinth. So she's like, ah, fuck. We're screwed. <laughs> I'm like, no, man. No, we're, not, we're not screwed. We just gotta keep fighting. There's something we can get up here if we just need to de-boost off this guy. There we go. First try. This will get us the arms barrier, which will cut our weapon power loss in half. For when we get hit. Totally worth it. before we go into the next fight, though. Just makes it that much easier. There we go.
There we go. Easy peasy. Still took a hit to his dying breath there. Doctor. So Curly's just gonna hang out for a bit, and we're gonna move on. I don't know why there was a cat in there. <laughs> a big ass cat in that weird mechanical thing. Whatever. I don't think too hard about it. So now here's where we need to make a choice. We need to make a choice to either go down and save Professor Booster, or just keep on trucking. So we're gonna keep on trucking. Talk to, I think I needed to talk to Curly again before we came along this entire way. Oops. Uh, I hope I just didn't fuck this up. Should still be able to get back there. up actually. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, 
Now she should be waiting for us. Oh, and I fucked. Ah, damn it. Well, we're not we don't want to do this, so. We're gonna quit out. <laughs> or try to, rather. How the fuck do we do that? There we go. So I think once we fall down here, we have to talk to Booster, and we don't want to do that, so. Oops. Oopsie doopsie, now I gotta go back and talk to her again. <laughs> so I didn't save after we came back. I don't know what a doctor is going to do for a robot, but... Oh well, I guess we just don't think about it too much. save again. <laughs> Just in case. In case we fuck the jump up. There we go. Okay, so now Curly's waiting for us. So I'm not 100% sure how she got ahead of us, considering this is the only path in here, but... Whatever. I won't ask too many questions. But who should appear other than Mr. Kool-Aid Man himself? And we're gonna enlist his help to move the boulder. Well, eventually. Now he's got no choice but to help us. Hey, heebie-jeebies, how you doing? Good to see you. I am doing all right, having a good time, playing one of my favorite games, Cave Story. Having a good time, having a good Saturday. How about you? How you doing? All right, so Balrog says, uh, don't tell anybody I helped you. And we're like, okay. And then we get a super missile launcher. And we're gonna see. <laughs> Because this next part coming up is kind of silly. 
Uh, oh, maybe not. No, oh, never mind. This this part's fun. And also has one of the best tunes in the game. So it's fun. to power up our rock launcher again since with the upgrade means we have to power it up again. Two streamers have been playing Elder Scrolls Oblivion. You team you want to play again if you want to play it, okay. Install it, loaded up a bunch of mods. Mind the next thing instead. Hold on a second. Been treating that anecdote in a bit. There we go. Alright, playing one of your childhood games, remembering all the glitches and bugs. Awesome. Yeah, going back and playing games that you remember from childhood is fucking awesome. Especially if they are as good as you remember. Because on occasion, they are not nearly as good as you remember. Parts of the labyrinth that we don't care about. Ouch. So now we're coming up on the fight that is quite difficult, even if you're good at this game. But I'm not going to claim to be good at this game, so it'll probably be difficult anyways. Well, so it's been fun. I got that kind of shitty early to mid-2000s graphics. Yep, I remember those. The kind that were groundbreaking back in the day, but today do not hold up at all. Uh, do we do that? Oh, okay. Last up first.
favorite game as a youngling? Diablo 2 or Super Mario World? Ooh, those are both very solid choices. Well, let's see. It depends on how young we're talking. If we're talking, like, double-digit years and beyond, then I would have to say Unreal Tournament. The OG Unreal Tournament from 99. That was fucking amazing. Um, before that, though... Before that... I'd have to say probably some SNES games. We really didn't have a lot of PC games. So we didn't really have a, a powerful enough PC for gaming until I was you know, in my teens, so... There'd definitely have to be some SNES games or something. Maybe good old Gradius 3? Gradius 3 is a blast. Oh, sorry. I've just been kind of ignoring story here. That's fine, that's fine. So here we are, found a whole bunch of, of robots and such. Oh shit, the door closed behind us. We're gonna have to fight our way out. No problem. This fight can be a bit painful. Especially when the water starts rising. Like now. That goes back down. actually might die here, so we fell down at a very bad time. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh boy! Alright, well good moves. We managed to survive. Not really in a good position to do serious damage here. Ledge. Actually, do something about this. of Gaia, yeah. That was always a very confusing game to me when I was a, a wee babby. I never got past, like, maybe the second or third major dungeon. So it turns out we've been fighting the heart of the island, and if we destroy it, then the island falls out of the sky. By the way, we're in a big flo floating island in the sky. So now we're just, the uh, water go level goes up, we can't breathe, we're gonna die. Rip. The end. We lose. Which is not true at all, obviously, but... So Curly gave us her her breather air tank thing. But we're gonna take her with us. 
So now we could leave her behind, and that would prevent us from getting the actual good ending. But we are good people, so we are going to take her with us. Alright, so we got through kind of the worst mid-game part without that. That's good enough for us. Besides to, it can just jam you into some spikes, and you're dead. Or go the wrong way. Especially this part. Gotta get the right thing to get up to the right. There we go. Oh! Oh, shit! Uh, and I fucked it up because I need to get to that door. If I saved right before this. Yeah, good. Oops. <laughs> right? Like, this is on par with a... A good old Sierra adventure game sometimes, where if you fuck up at the wrong moment, you are boned. I mean, you still technically can go through and beat the rest of the game, but you miss out on the best ending, so it's like, well, fuck. So now the sequence for this is, we gotta rest. <laughs> gotta rest, we gotta go uh, read the computer screen. And then we gotta go check the bookshelf. To learn about how to drain robots. And then we gotta go drain Curly. Listen to her prattle on about something, blah 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 blah, and then she falls asleep. And you gotta talk to her twice to take her back along. Yeah. Oh, except you gotta say no. You wanna leave her here? Yes. No, we don't wanna leave her here. I wanna take her with us. So now we're good. Uh, there is still one more thing that we need to do later on, but that one is not a one off. And we can do it kind of in our own time, so. Not to get hit by the spikes. Oh. <laughs> or I'll just fluff the jump and get hit by the spikes anyway.
Alright, there we go. See in hell, fish face. Well, iron head, I suppose. <clears throat> Streamed this before a while back. Did I stream this before? Maybe the very original one, before it hit Steam. That could be. I don't remember doing that. But yeah, that was definitely long before I had more experience with it. Uh, okay, so let's see, where are we at? We're back in the village. Um, we need to go back to the house. So, Professor Booster. Oh man, he's alive, even though we didn't go save him after he fell down. And he's like, ah, shit. Things have gone wrong. Here, take this sick-ass jetpack. Yeah, the, the jump where Booster falls down sucks ass. They are actually nice enough to give you a, a marking in the ground to tell you where to jump in order to make it, which is super awesome. Uh, okay, so now we go back to the egg corridor. And shit's fucked up three ways to Sunday. So something big happened here. Oh, actually, before we do this, let's go get our, uh... go get our, our weapon that we've been holding out for the entire game. Trade our initial weapon for. So I'm not sure that you're able to... Well, no, you're definitely not able to beat the last section of the game without the uh, version 2.0 jetpack. Because the movement required to avoid a whole bunch of spikes and shit is just not possible, I don't think, without it. But we definitely need it to go get this weapon. So now we need to go back to where we first came in. talk to the dude that we stole the gun from. He's like, no, fucker, give that back. Yeah, the VOD certainly doesn't exist. I went in, when I, w I went through and cleaned up all of my old stuff. I don't think this one was even on there. That would have been many years ago. <laughs> Probably four-ish, four or more years ago by now. Certainly before I had a powerful enough machine to actually record it locally. And he's like, no, I'll give him my gun back, and he whines about shit, and then he gives it back to us after he finishes it. Because it was technically incomplete. So now we've got the spur. Which is like a permanently upgraded polar star, except you can charge it up and get a damn big laser. Zzz. Super rad. This in our fancy ass jetpack, we are ready to go. So we will need to come back to the village one more time, but not until we reach the plantation. Uh, I'm gonna save it just because I don't want to do that again. If and or when I fuck it up. Alright, so back to the egg corridor once more. But now we can cruise along pretty well, what with our enhanced mobility. Oops, that's... That dragon is guarding. That's yeah, I'm just 
also camp in Crete. I also need to watch out for the shit falling from the ceiling, too, because now that's a thing. Cool! <laughs> Oh yeah, I figured that was going to happen at least once. That's why I saved here. Exactly the easiest thing to do, even if you're a super good gamer, and even harder to do if you're not a super good gamer. Oh, oh boy, that could have been real bad. I think I had eye frames from getting hit by something else. So, if we're fast enough, we can. Grab this and then jet on out. Which we got it. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna fight him. <laughs> Although, is. Oh no, they're not gonna come back now. Oops. Oh well. You know what? That's fine. I don't think we got. would get anything for that. Maybe more rockets? Ouch. The area with my favorite music in the game, but not necessarily my favorite uh, area to play. So Sue's been kidnapped again. Uh, Professor Booster disappeared, but uh, we saw him back in the village. Kazuma's here and he's got the dragon hatch and they're ready to escape. So he's like, blah, 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 I'm a stupid coward, and I'm gonna run away. But then he's like, oh, hey, you wanna come with me? And then you can totally bail at this point, but they're like, no, I'm not a fucking coward, get out of here. Timer. 290 counter, sorry. Another Mimiga, big old coward. Again. 
Turns out he was a human, just like Sue. She was turned into an Amiga. Now here we are in the plantation. So here's the last thing we need to do to get to the good ending. We go, oh hey, we found Curly. But she's got memory loss. But there's some kind of special mushroom that can recover memory when eaten. So now, we need to go get that special mushroom. But I think we're going to do that after... After we do a few other things. So let's go this way. Uh, we need to go find the fishing Mamiga. Oops. Which means we need to go back here, actually. Quick speed run. <laughs> A V V V V V V. Oh man, it's been a hot second since I played that game. I don't know how quick that would be. Although I've, I've beaten it in like half an hour before. Although that was when I was sort of practiced up on it, so I doubt we'll be able to do it in half an hour. All right, so we need to go talk to there, right? Or is this no, this is the jail? Uh, we need to go back down here. Then we talk to Hamachi, the fishing Mamiga. It's like, oh, I don't like doing farming. I'm gonna go fish instead. It's like, all right, okay. I mean, that's reasonable. Farming's not for everybody. I mean, I wouldn't fish myself because it's boring as hell, but I won't judge. Now he's fishing. We need him to fish to get the key. Go to the teleporter. Room. Like, oh, yeah, I caught something. It's in the bucket. Oh. Alright, we're out of here. Oh, wait, no, we're not. So now we're in jail. We talk to the big Mega. He's like, oh, Sue was trying to wake you up, blah, 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 blah. I have to talk to him twice for him telling me that, yeah, there's something in my pocket. I need to read this to get a password for later. It's more exposition. The story's actually pretty good. Take the time to learn it and understand it. So I think the last health up that we can get is up here. Well, at least until end game. That'll put us, like, 45, I want to say? Alright, so now we can go do the last thing we need to do to get Curly to remember her shit and open up the final area for us. Mega Village one more time. Back to that doorway up at the top of the cemetery that we saw way, way early on. Oh, hey, look at this mushroom. Yes, we have some business with you. Yes, we want the mushroom badge. Uh, no, we don't really... Uh, uh, no, we don't not really need it. We really do want it. We really want it. We know we don't not need it. 
so hooray, we got the mushroom badge. Except, that does literally nothing. Serves no purpose. We just need to look at it. Just need to look at it to uh, fucking find out the scheme of this dumbass, blue-purple-ass mushroom. Fight the mushroom. As one does. So we defeat the mushroom, and we take the mushroom. <laughs> Rocks fall, everybody dies. <laughs> All right, so now we just need to go back to Curly. I don't know if this is necessarily going to be 100%. But I just like the really good ending. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scrap metal, blah, blah, blah. And some kind of special mushroom. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Sorry, I talked to the wrong dude. Yeah, let's jam that mushroom into Curly's mouth. <laughs> uh, so, we learn our name. We are Quote. We're called Quotes. She's Curly Brace. We're two robots sent up to the island to stop shit from going wrong. We failed, obviously. We're like, yeah, we gotta talk to her again. So we get this, and there we go. So now we can get to the final area. And now we must go about our business. More story, more story. He's gonna build a rocket to take you up to the top of the island. She's gonna take our jetpack. It sucks. Oops. No, I'm not this guy. I was just clicking through. There we go. So she needs a sprinkler. We're gonna go get her a sprinkler. take one off the field, unfortunately. I need to take a broken one back and replace it for a new one. Sunglasses, get a new sprinkler. All right, here you go, honey. Here's your sprinkler. find Ito or Ito or whatever big cowardly asshole that we saw on our way up the island from the outside. There he is. Making a rocket, yada yada yada, need something from you, so we'll just take this.
There you go. Here's the controller. Just gonna go have ourselves a little nap. Equip it, otherwise it won't work. Right. There's one more thing we can do before we uh, get out of here. Yep. All oh, right, this is the last health upgrade before the end game here. Alright, full 50 health. That's the most we can get. Spikes do 10 apiece. A lot of kind of precise movements needed to get through. Ouch. I'm trying to power up my sword again through this. Oh. Oh, emphasis on try. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, shit. That's why we could see it right before.
thought there was something special you got for beating that guy without taking damage, but maybe I'm thinking of the... of the fish. Serious, it doesn't really matter that much. Spawns everybody, does it? It does. Whoops. And we get into the pretty much the final boss rush. We actually fight misery. fight the doctor. Form the doctor. And six health is a little bit dodgier. <laughs> Although this one is significantly easier. Because he's already dead.
And six health into this last fight is not gonna do, so we're gonna grab a little extra. We just talk to Chaco twice. And everybody gets hearts above their head. Well, everybody except Santa, apparently. Santa doesn't love us. Alright, so 18 is a little bit better. Still not great. But hey, it's the core again. Fun. And then the doctor, who we vaporized a minute ago, is back. What a shit. Ah, rip core. All right. All right. So at this point, we could get the fuck out of here, like normal. But we don't want to do that. We want to go to the final area. building instead. And wow, look at this, a mystery hole. Let's jump into it. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're in the final, final area. Oops, I already fucked up. Yep. Rip. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I don't think you'd be able to navigate this with the non-upgraded jetpack. Hey, look at this! Curly's waiting for us. Uh, you could try to go through the door <laughs> without her, but she just pops you back, so you have to take her with you. Which is good, because she does cover your back in the next screen. Ooh, ouch. So yeah, a bunch of exposition about the true final boss and what happened and why he's so fucking wild and shit. Oof, I'm getting hit a whole bunch here. Alright, so now she's awake and covering her back. With a weapon that we could have picked up ourselves at some point. Um, so if we had gotten it instead, she would have, I believe, the Polar Star? Yeah. I think 
she's got, I forget what it's called, like the judgment or something? I forget. It's got a really super cool name. Yeah, it does pretty good damage, too. Yeah, to get the spur, you need to hang on to the Polar Star until you talk to the uh, Gunsmith Hermit. So if you trade it away, you can't get the spur. Because you can either trade it to Curly for her machine gun, or I believe you can give it to the Labyrinth Weapon Dealer or something else. I don't remember what that something else is. Health though is a bit dicey. <laughs> I didn't realize I had that little health. Womp womp womp. Alright, no biggie. Capacity missile upgrade, I want to say? 24. <laughs> okay, even better. before the final fight here. Ah, oh, not quite. Let's see, I think I'm at 24, 26 health, something like that. 20? Alright, well, I'll definitely stop off for this stuff then. Alright. 
32 health is better. Plus we've got that one-time refill we can use if things get super dicey. Which they almost certainly will. So Ghost Doggo is asking us please kill Balos. We'll do that. No worries. No worries, brah. Now the final, 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 final boss. <laughs> His very first form. Second form. Oh, jeez, I forgot when he smashes down like that. Alright. We got that in the first go. 622 for the final segment. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so that's pretty much the end of the game. Now it's just ending cutscene and yada yada yada. And Mr. Kool-Aid Man, oh, he's gonna save us. What a good dude. He can fly. <laughs> And credits roll. 
<laughs> Alright, so that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but that's alright. Not bad for a, a one night playthrough, you know? <laughs> names by the end, right? did it! And if we had gone faster in that final segment, I think we would have seen one more character on the right-hand side there. Might have been Sue or Toriko or somebody. But I can never go fast enough <laughs> in the final spot to, to get that going. Oh well. Alright, so that was a nice little one-night playthrough for Saturday Night Grab Bag. I'm happy with that. We're gonna call it there. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CET, Assault Android Cactus Speedruns, and maybe an Infinity Drive or two, depending on how we're feeling. Um, and then Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT, we'll be back on Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.